Hi and welcome to this new video about Yubico and YubiKey in which I want to answer you uh, with uh, some question about Macintosh. So I'm now in a standard MacBook Air with M1 CPU, so it is an ARM processor. And if you want to manage your YubiKey, you should simply go to the Apple Store and search for Yubico Authenticator because that's the latest version of the Authenticator software that run in every operating system even in Mac and you should use this software to configure, manage your key, reset and doing everything, change the pin and it's very very simple to use. You just go to the store, install the Yubic Authenticator, press open and open the software. When you open your Yubico Authenticator software, you see that actually it tells me that there's no Yubikey present. I'm gonna plug in a Yubikey 5 NFC into my USB port and immediately the key is recognized, as you can see, you see all the data and you have the option to give a name, give a label to your key and you see the serial number and you can do everything you can do with the key as for the standard uh, Yubico software I've shown you in the very first video of the series. So here we can uh, toggle application uh, or from the USB or NFC and you can press the factory reset button that allow you to reset the key to factory uh, condition. So every credential, every certificate will be wiped away. Um, you can press the settings and setting is uh, only the appearance of the software and you can click accounts and look at all the two-factor authentication accounts th that are present in my key. And these are the standard two-factor authentication uh, with the standard QR code. You take the picture with your phone and you see how this software allows you to use this functionality without a cell phone. So that's a test account and that is the the temporary token for the two-factor authentication and you can indeed click the pass key. When you click the pass key, you are actually looking at your FIDO2 credential. So you will need to type the pin. If you type the pin, it shows you nicely all the uh, pass key that are stored in this key. It tells me that I have 25 pass key used. That is because this is a uh, old key with old firmware. So we can have space. We have space only for 25 keys while the newest key have space for 100 pass key. Uh, the nice thing you can have your change pin here in the right section and you can click a single credential, you see the details and you can delete the single pass key with a single click. So it is very, very easy to uh, use and you can manage everything with a few click. And for advanced feature, if you go to the certificate section, this key has no certificate. It was never initialized in the certificate section. So I have no certificate, but also it showed me a warning sign telling me into the right that I need to change the pin, change my book and change management key because actually I'm using warning, default pin use, warning, default book used and default uh, key use. So as I show you in the very first video, if you use the certificate section, it is advisable to change the pin. So it can press change pin. It automatically populate the current pin because it is the default one. So it does not even require you to know that the default pin is one, two, three, four, five, six. It automatically tells you that the current pin is this. You don't need to do anything else and you can change the pin. So I can change the pin and the press save and the pin is changed. So as you can see, the warning side disappear. I have three attempts for changing the pin. And as you can see, everything is uh, available into a nice and simple UI so you can manage everything. And since this is a Yubico 5 NFC, I have also these slots where I can uh, program the two slots of the key. As I show you in previous video, the key, the YubiKey 5 series have two slot, the first one is not supposed to be changed. It contains the default functionality of the key, but it usually have a second slot called long touch that it's being activated if you long press the, the button on the key and you can use as a setup, Yubico OTP, challenge response, a static password on OATHHOTP that it can be used with a Kepas archive or you can delete credential. And okay, as you can see, everything can be managed from a Mac with very few click with the same interface you find in Windows. So it is pretty much the same experience.
Clearly, if you have a simple security key NFC, is the one with the blue background. So this seems absolutely equal to the five NFC series, but it has less functionality. It costs um, half of the five series. And if you insert, you see you have a different image because that's the old key, it's blue. The new one is pretty much identical to the 5 series, but it has less functionality. As you can see in the left, you have very few options. So you have no ability to store the standard two-factor authentication, you have no certificate, you have no second slot, you have only passkey. The interface is pretty much the same because the passkey functionality are actually the same. As you can see, this is a much newer key, so you have two of 100 passkey. So I can store 100 passkey. As you can see, I can change pin and I can select each one of my key and I can delete the corresponding passkey. As you can see, I've shown you in the previous video, even this basic uh, key can use can be used for standard FIDO2 passkey and clearly with the SSH FIDO2 protected key. So you, you can use elliptic curve to store your private key for your SSH inside your key and you are very much more secure than a standard SSH key. And okay, so as you can see, you can Toggle application, but as you can see, we have very, very little application and we have so we have only the FIDO U2F and the FIDO 2. We have only FIDO functionalities and you have also the factory reset that can allow you to reset all the credentials on the key. So as you can see, even if you are on Mac, thanks to YubiKey, you have the very same experience, the very same application, the very same interface that you can use in other operating systems so you can have the very seamless transition to use in using your key from Windows or from Mac. I didn't try on Linux, but it has the same application. It has the Yubico manager even of Linux. And so that's one of the reasons why I really love YubiKey because Yubico has a great care of the software and we have great software and it's very easy to use, very intuitive and helps you onboarding your key with very few steps and very little problems. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm waiting you for the next one.